Well, obviously, I looked over the parts by now, so... Yeah, hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough, because this apparently turned out to be a walkthrough after all. Who would have guessed? Anyway, you'll notice in the... <laughs> wrong button. You'll notice in the friend list, there are 13 blank spots from 181 through 193. All of those Pokémon can be best friended by getting the bonus with each and every Pokémon on each and every attraction. Yeah, it's tedious as all heck, and I don't think I'm going to be doing that because the game does not have a hold over my body anymore, so I don't need to friend any more Pokémon. Well, actually, it's just because it's it would be horribly, horribly tedious to show you myself playing the mini games like 20 times with the Pokémon and... Once you see a person beat a, um, an attraction once, you can you know they're gonna you're gonna be able to beat, beat it again just by adjusting to the Pokemon's different controls and whatnot. And yeah, so just get the bonus with each and every Pokemon on each and every attraction. And you'll unlock the rest of them. Anyway, th since there's 13 slots and 14 attractions, that means I already have one Pokemon unlocked. And that is Mew! Yeah, you get Mew once you beat the game, so it is by far the easiest one to unlock out of all of them, because you just simply get it by, well, beating the game normally. And there it is! And it's brand new, sparkling and clean. Let's start! The bonus for Mew looks incredibly small, but all these special Pokémon that can play, or I should say that can be unlocked and play the attractions, are incredibly broken. <laughs> Look at Mew go! Yeah! <laughs> How the heck did Arcanine beat Jolteon there? I have no idea. <laughs> so yeah, it was as you could tell, even though I flubbed the starting dash there by pressing the two button when it says go, I was a little bit late there. I still managed to get the bonus with ease because Mew is so dang fast. <laughs> Well, even though I'm not going to show you um, myself unlocking all the Pokemon that are remaining for the friend list as well as the attractions, I will go through which ones you can unlock and which attraction they're for. And on top of that, I'm going to go through the special password Pokemon that you can unlock by inputting passwords off of the title screen menus that uh, will show after you beat the game. So, I'm going to go through that now. Over here in the granite zone, I'm gonna pop up a password box of sorts. Good old video editing, I'm so glad I got access to my video editor again. Uh, those are the passwords for each region version of the game that you'll have to input depending on which country you're in, I should say, which game uh, version you have, you know, which, which each regional version, what the heck am I trying to say here? I don't know, I already said that. This is over back by that flame switch bridge over here, and yeah. Anyway, let's chat with Jirachi, and I lost Jirachi. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, me too! Sure! Let's do it! You're pretty quick, I have to say. Oh boy. Go! I might have to use the powers that be known as the Double Dash, or not. <laughs> but... You'll notice that while you can unlock these Pokémon in the park, you can't friend them by battling them or chasing them or whatever. Like Jirachi here is uh, number 181, but you'll notice if you talk to Jirachi again, it's not friended. That's because you have to get the bonus on Venusaur's Vine Swing with each and every Pokémon in order to friend Jirachi. So yeah, that's what I meant when I said that you have to get each and every Pokemon friended in order to get the remaining Pokemon in there. Like if I check the friend list now, 181 is not filled, unfortunately. Anyway, I'm going to cut over to the next Pokemon and I will see you when I get there. Over here at Gyarados' attraction, there is a little special item that you can get for Pikachu if you input one of the passwords on the screen depending on the region of your game. And I'm going to show you surfing Pikachu here at Gyarados' attraction. On top of that, 
If you get the bonus with each Pokemon on this attraction, you will be able to unlock Manaphy for it. And you can even see Manaphy on the attraction blacked out here. Uh, but yeah, you can see the best record for each Pokemon. See that bonus achieved, so that means this Pokemon got its bonus. So you have to get the bonus for this, 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 yeah, it's... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, there's Pikachu with the surfboard, and let's go! It's been a while since I played this, hopefully I don't flub it up. <laughs> but isn't surfboards, or I mean, aren't surfboards propelled by waves? This doesn't look to be the kind of thing that... Yeah, is this like a motor-powered surfboard of sorts? Wow, this control is really nice. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, Pikachu's surfboard... Oh, maybe not. I was gonna say it turns pretty tightly, but... Maybe it's just because the Pokémon that I used and I came here came through here before had a... Uh, much, much wider turning radius or something like that. Anyway, that's Pikachu! Got the bonus! Oh yeah! Next attraction! Over here at Pelipper's attraction in the beach zone, you're able to give Pikachu some balloons and make it a flying Pikachu and to be able to play this attraction. So let's do it! Yeah! On top of that you are able to unlock Latias to play this minigame if you get the bonus with each and every Pokemon, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> you know how to beat this attraction, just practice, practice, practice until you get the bonus with each one. Now, if it even takes you much practice to get the bonus with each one, because you'll probably have the hang of this game after so and so many. Anyway, yeah, oh my god, Pikachu turns terribly. <laughs> Holy jeez. That's that's as fast as I can possibly turn right there. <laughs> Dear lord. Poor Pikachu. It doesn't stand a chance. Well, at least it being able to get a score like other Pokemon. Yeah, that's the thing about the attractions, that the, they adjust the bonus depending on the Pokémon's abilities. So it's not as strict as it may seem uh, at first if some Pokémon doesn't turn all that well. It, it's a matter of just practicing until you get the hang of it. See, like, even though I wasn't able to turn very well, the bonus was really, really lenient there. So I was able to easily get it. pika -pee! Oh jeez, I still have the mindset of a Pikachu. Alright! Next minigame. No, I, I guess I want to quit that. <laughs> Over here at Empoleon's attraction, if you put the passwords in that you see on the screen, you will get a surfboard for Peak <laughs> Surfboard! Snowboard for Pikachu! And you'll be able to use it to play Empoleon's attraction. By the way, I'm going through the Pokémon in the friend list in order, so that means Manaphy was... I mean, Jirachi was 181, Manaphy was 182, Latias was 183, 184 here is Soicune, and you can see it right there, but it's not unlocked. But anyway, Snowboard Pikachu, go! This is the last of the Pikachu item upgrades that you can get, so I won't have to show any more of these minigames for the rest of the walkthrough. And go! Ooh, this controls very nicely. Oh, jeez, I wonder if I should have taken the right route. I don't know, there's so many different paths. Oh, shoot, I missed one. <laughs> Clearly, the fastest way between two points is a straight line, though. That's why you want to hug the edges of the track in order to get... Well, unless you're try aiming, trying to aim for a bonus or something like that. But otherwise, you want to take the inside route of all the turns, if at all possible. Zig! Zag, oh geez, I slipped to the outside. Dang it, no! I'm being pushed slightly. Ah, I think it's the slopes that do it. Arr, must get bonus with Pikachu. Arr, woo! And that's all. <laughs> not too difficult to get the bonus. Even though I flubbed a couple of things there, still not too difficult. 
Anyway, next attraction, go! Get the bonus with all Pokemon at Bastiodon's Block Barrage and you'll unlock number 185, Metagross! Number 86 is Heatran, and if you get the bonus at this attraction, Rhyperior's Bumper Burn here, you will be able to unlock it for play. Over here is 187, Groudon, and it can play Bl Pfft, Blaziken's Boulder Bash. Yeah, huge Groudon here! And you gotta use the passwords, depending on your region of the game, in order to unlock Groudon, so I'll plop them on the screen. Yeah, battle, baby! Woohoo! This is gonna be pretty interesting, actually, because it's a ground type. I'm, I'm an electric type, and yeah, look at it! This is just, it's huge! My god! <laughs> Run! Mwah! Yeah, that works! Oh, jeez! Ow, pain! Knock it around! Oh my goodness, this isn't good. What the heck is it using anyway? Outrage? No, I couldn't be outraged. <laughs> but it's something vicious. Groudon is mine! Well, it's not actually my friend, but I mean, I just managed to beat it. <laughs> yeah, he wants me to get the bonus, and yeah, he's hinting how to be your friend. NEXT POKEMON! If you go back over to the Poke Park entrance like I'm doing here, well, enter one of the passwords you see on the screen first, you will be able to unlock Celebi in this forest, which is number 188. Ah, there you are. How about a chase? Um, nice to meet you. This is an Ilex forest. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> Let's go! And Celebi can turn very tightly. So, you gotta be careful to take the turns while pressing left the whole time. Yeah, or right, depending on if you're going around clockwise, of course. And that was pretty easy because I got my dash maxed out. And Celebi will be able to play the Tangrowth's Swing Along if you get the bonus with each other Pokemon on Tangrowth's Attraction. Which I'm not gonna do. <laughs> uh, anyway, next Pokemon, go! I'm going in the wrong direction. Whoopsie! If you use the password shown on the screen now, you'll be able to unlock Pokemon number 189, pff, 189 known as Darkrai, and it is around here somewhere. Where is it? <laughs> it should be around... Did I miss it? Some... Is it up here? I thought it was in this area, if I recall correctly. It might be hiding around... I'm sure I put in the password. <laughs> Dang it! Where is Darkrai? I'm just gonna attack everything until I find Darkrai. I can't attack you. Maybe it's wandering around this area? Or maybe it wanders around the... Oh, there it is! Hiding from me, are you? Dark ride. <laughs> Indeed I am. Mm, sure. Absolutely. Let's do this. Oh boy. I have a feeling this could be tricky. Or not. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see how things go. Wow. Like three shadow balls at once there. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, pain. No. Aha! I just needed that one last zap. Well, you needed that one last zap. <laughs> Thanks. And yeah, you'll be able to unlock it for Dusknor's Speed Slam if you get all the bonuses with all the other Pokemon. You'll be able to friend it. So, next Pokemon I go! Over here at Rotom's attraction, you guessed it, if you get all the bonuses here, you'll be able to play as Rotom on Spooky Shoot'em Up. But I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> oh, uh, Rotom is 190, by the way. 
Number 191 is Shaman, and if you get the bonus with each Pokemon on Absol's Hurdle Bounce, you'll be able to use it on Absol's Hurdle, Hurdle Bounce. Number 192 is Latios, and you'll get it if you get the bonus with each Pokemon on Salamence's Air Ace, and you'll be able to play with it on Salamence's Air Ace once you do so. Pokemon 193 is the final one, and is Deoxys, if you get the bonus with each Pokemon on Rayquaza's Balloon Panic. And of course, you'll also be able to use it in Rayquaza's Balloon Panic. And that is all! That was the last of Poke Park Wii. Time to get this video uploaded, and I will never have to see the Poke Park again.